Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose the car by using the Vident. So this is IZ, IEZ 310 Pro. Right, okay. There are similar OBD2 scanners available on Halford and also on eBay. So those, uh, I will put the name in the description they look similar like this so everything is the same except because the, the rest are sold by Halford and big names so they are more expensive however if you check the review you can see this is doing more than the the rest of the i mean the other ibd obd scanners which looks like this so i'm gonna give it a go and see if it's gonna work so my car has got a problem this is the scanner itself as you can see from here and um, this is the help button i am read erase back and enter and uh, these are three indicators so the first one green everything is okay this one there might be a pending issue and this is the major issue okay right let's have a look so i'm gonna hook this in my car give me two seconds it's brand new i've never tested it and i bought it in amazon although you can get it cheaper on ebay so they look genuine i usually use uh, this one this is the bluetooth also does the work but uh, I'm trying to clear the injured cord. So. Right. So. After connecting it. It turns on automatic. Um, it looks like because there is already communication with the car. So if you check my car, there's no engine light because if I turn on, not cranking, the engine light will come on and the fan will come on. You can hear the fan now. The fan is on and the engine light is on. So let's say that I'm going to start my car. So you can see the engine light is on there, right? So let's see what's happening by using this scanner. The fan is on, OBD, and I'm gonna press enter. And it's going to link to. So looks like there's major issue here because there is red in the scanner, as you can see here. So. Uh, it asked me to erase previously stored data to save data from this test. Uh, I'm just going to click no for this purpose because I don't know what data are there. So control module, I'm going to go to engine control module and press enter. Read codes, store code, pending code and permanent code. So I'm going to first start with the store code. O2 sensor circuit, high voltage, bank 1 sensor 2. Okay, so I um, don't want to click help for now to see what's... Okay, let's see. It tells me uh, rear heated oxygen sensor bank 1 harness open or shorted. Rear heated oxygen sensor bank 1 circuit poor electric connection, fault to rear heated oxygen sensor, inappropriate fuel pressure or it might be faulty fuel injector intake air leak may be faulty or exhaust gas leaks so just to let you know that i have changed that sensor so sensor is okay all i can think is it might be an electrical issue because i wash the engine or it might be because uh, maybe there's an exhaust leak somewhere because i'm losing mileage 
and also I can feel it when you drive here you can see feel like uh, the air is escaping from somewhere fault fuel injectors I'm not sure about that but and it, it might be anything okay so right I'm gonna go back uh, go back and uh, let's see the second so heated control circuit bank one sensor two that's it's the similar uh, similar issue we had so we have two code here and it's red so something is not right here okay now we have two issues I'm gonna go back now I'm going to pending codes so pending code still show the same thing there are two pending code going back and permanent code it says it's not supported okay going back and I'm going to check now transmission control module I'm not sure if this is supported read codes still code right so it looks like in transmission everything is okay okay lost communication with ECM PCA this is a generic code and uh, it is U0 okay so let's have a look what it is lost communication with ECM PCA I'm not sure what does it mean but I'm gonna click help so this is where I'm thinking it's it's gonna be maybe something to do with the engine control module uh, it might get corroded okay now let's have a look component test okay it says it's not supported and um, right onboard monitoring test also it's not supported so some of other things are not supported okay so am yeah, not available not available egr not available all right fuel not available okay so gonna go back all the way back engine control module and uh, I'm going to say erase code and I'm sure that this will not erase the code so it say erase code down there press any key to continue so now we are in yellow however turning all of my engine turning it on again off on start you can see that the engine code is still there so it has not erased this code so this whatever is it is doing but uh, it's not erasing that code there okay the code will still be there so i'm gonna read it again probably after driving few few okay so this is the code code is still there because there's an electrical issue in this car so this is what we need to sort sort it out okay and now let me read some of the live data we still wait okay view data I'm just gonna check for the engine okay so this is uh, okay so that here is show ECT is 21 let's have a look
Well. So this is the coolant is going up, 26, okay, 50, 27, okay, let's go back. This is a map sensor. Right, let's go to the oxygen sensor, O2, so this is the one that's the auto sensor this is how it reads I'm not sure if someone can advise if this is a correct reading or it's not a correct reading okay so going back let's check this one as well this is the voltage right so it looks like we have issues here because uh, I believe this is the voltage and uh, I can see it is 1.27, so shift. This is for O2, so it's definitely that there's issue with elect electric with this car. This is the reason it has activated that engine light there. All other things with this car, it's okay, as you can see from here. Okay, miss CCT, okay, cut not in uh, auto. Right, so that's what we have here. Uh, onboard monitor say tests, not sure what it is. Chevrolet, EGR, EG catalyst fuel. So just to let you know that my engine is not misfiring, everything is okay, so it's just an electrical issue which is uh, I need to, to find out uh, how to sort this. Right, so I'm gonna exit now and uh, that's it. So. Right, so guys, that's all what I wanted to discuss today. Um, and it looks like uh, the, um, the OBD2, which I had before, which is this one, it does the work very well. Because I wasn't able to clear the code by using this one. But um, I think I like, I like to have this uh, kind of uh, uh, OBD scanner with me. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, till, till next time. Bye bye.